artists who the industry did dirty. This is my brand new series, so follow me to stay updated with everything. First up is Fifth Harmony, a group that unfortunately had a lot of issues with their label and management. In fact, one of their lawyers said that the contracts the group signed were the worst in the music business. So who exactly was the group signed to? Well, after finishing in third on the X Factor 2012, they signed to Simon Cowell's Psycho Entertainment and also Epic Records. Lauren Haregi was definitely the most outspoken member about everything that was going on. Just take a look at these clips. Decisions on a regular basis to fuck us over, to make us literal slaves, like literally slaves, Ali. We're doing that's three albums in less than three years. What keeps you guys going? That's a, that's a schedule that you guys are keeping. Quite uh, a contract. Because <laughs> touring the same songs over and over again is over and exhausting. Over. And songs that we were given. So right. boring. Oh. Based off these clips, the first thing we can assume is that the group was very overworked. Not only did they release three albums in less than three years, but they also went on tour every year over the six years that they were together. Dinah Jane said that she loved touring, but the schedule traumatized her and forced her to watch her grandmother's funeral on FaceTime. In the video I showed before, Normani said they were just given most of their songs by their team, which means they couldn't really write their music. This is likely a big reason why Camila Cabello left the group. In an interview, she mentioned that she offered to write lyrics for the group, but got shut down. Dinah Jane also wasn't allowed to sing on two of the group's hit songs, Sledgehammer and Boss. I wasn't those songs at all because they said I didn't have that pop voice at the time, and I was like, what? Another member who spoke about mistreatment in the group was Allie Brooke. Although the members were allowed to do individual features with other artists, Allie said that someone in the label told her that she couldn't do a feature that she really wanted to do. So all this information shows that the group really did not have creative control. And we've seen this with other groups managed by Simon Cowell like Little Mix and One Direction, which I will talk about in future videos.